Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and uh, yeah, thanks for coming by. I forgot at the end of the last episode that we were still at war with Ecuador, so we didn't actually quite finish up South America. So that's what we're going to do about this episode, and really prepare ourselves, and probably declare war on, the Co-Prosperity Sphere. Ooh, that lag. Oh, baby. Let's see, yeah. They are the... In the co-prosperity sphere, it's not the greater East Asian co-prosperity sphere, but we're justifying on them anyways. It'll only take 23 days for us to do so, and my plan is to eventually also raise conscription again, since we have a little bit less. Well, I guess we have a little bit more than 400,000 manpower. Let's see, these Ecuadorians are almost gone, and then I will annex the rest of this to Revolutionary Colombia. And by the looks of things, you will see that I have definitely, um. Helped out major nations within South America. Obviously, I we have the um, Argentine Commune, which has taken all of Argentina, Paraguay, Bolivia, as well as Chile. Brazil has got Brazil, a little portion of West Indies Federation. Should have given this. I should have given them this too. I gave them Uruguay and Revolutionary Colombia took the rest, and it will also take Col uh, Ecuador. And they also obviously took Peru. Let's see, Revolutionary Colombia. Um, hold on, we gotta make sure we got enough power. There we go. Awesome. And make sure that they are a true state. Awesome. War is over. Can I join the Third International now? Asked to join faction. No, I have been said, told no, because they're syndicalists. Damn bastards. Damn reactionaries. Ugh, I, reactionaries have been so terrible to us. Anyways, we gotta go ahead and begin maybe putting a few divisions into the Pacific. Now I'm gonna start off with seven. Let's start with seven. We'll start a little nice, a little easy. We'll all come to Honolulu, which has pretty good naval base stuff. Pretty good, uh, what do you call this? Naval base, yeah, it's just a naval base. We could improve the infrastructure since we're going to add seven more guys down here. So I'm actually going to separate this off and we'll call this Pacific Ocean Fleet or something like that. Small. Oh. Pacific Armies. And then the syndic Syndicate Theater will be large. Large Pacific Theater Armies. Cool. Carousel bombing is done. Strategic bombing goes up. We're almost done with our land doctrine. Naval doctrine. Oh my goodness. We definitely, definitely, definitely have to do something here. We have to research more naval stuff before we do anything else. And we have upgrades. Perhaps. Yes. No. Maybe so. Improved heavy carrier could be upgraded as well as the modern dreadnought, but that's okay. How is Massachusetts currently? Do we have any extra ships? No, we do not. We actually have another carrier here already. Oh, no, 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 this is already part of the one carrier group. Oh, you have 35 destroyers here. Holy, holy crap. Mm. This place might actually might want to use a little bit more destroyers. That should be pretty good. 18. So 18 here. Just combine with you guys, since you'll probably need it, since you don't have that much coverage for, in terms of capital ships. But that's alright. Oh, you're in Uruguay right now. Cool. And uh, we have quite a few subs. Quite a few. Uh, but we do have four extra ones. Nice. What is this? Ooh, it is a destroyer. In Massachusetts. Great. Well, for that, that's okay to combine those. You guys come over here. And then subs. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Yeah, cuatro's next. Subs, cuatro. Ooh, show trials. I love show trials. So, a number of trials have been conducted of prominent members who have shown reactionary tendencies. Whom of those are not aligned with Earl Browder are being brought up in these trials. Counter-revolutionaries who wish to reverse the revolution have been found guilty of being the enemy of the people. The most repentant of these reactionaries are now on death row, while the stubborn few are still being pressed for information on their accomplices. Ah, good. Revolutionaries shall meet their fate. A little bit less manpower, but two more stability, which we will greatly enjoy. All right, so we have subs quattro here, and then we will. Mm, not. So we are. Here we are. Subs 
Quattro. Very nice. Nice. And they met up there. So I'm going to actually go ahead and base you all in Hawaii. Because nothing ever went wrong in Hawaii. And if anything does go wrong, we do have... What is this? Johnson Ato with a level 10 uh, base as well. We can go to war with the Japanese. And we could have our justification until August 17th of this year. Now, I do want to finish up fun Fuel the Revolution over the next four days. And then immediately, go ahead and do Good Syndicalist Soldier so we might be able to join the International. Or maybe the third International. Two days left. Looks like the Japanese are winning a little bit against the... Soviet Union, or I guess Soviet Russia, with all of her allies. Cool. Fuel the revolution. And it only takes 20 days to get more fuel capacity. Cool. Our next place is... Our place is next to the brothers in Europe. We must help them, and through their victory, help syndicalism spread to the rest of the world. Great. Got a lot of uh, political power, though. Um, Daily political power game? We probably don't need as much. Research speed, decryption... Oh, supply consumption might be good. Um, daily political power. It's only 1% research speed, but for something that takes like 150 days, you lower it by like 150 times 0 0.1. It's like one and a half days. Because 10 would be 15. Hmm. Um, you know what? Let's do that. Why not? It only takes 50. Let's do slightly fast research speeds. 67, 66 days, I don't know, maybe not, 65, slightly, slightly helps us, do we have any benefits right now, one research speed development for naval doctrine research, cool, that looks like we got two more divisions here, throw them on to here, why not, it is the smallest army still, so we could probably use a little bit more support, and very good, very good, I do have a lot of planes already here within the Pacific Ocean uh, theater, uh, Hawaii's got 800, 2,000 over here, 800 over here. Actually, we could probably use more over here. Um, I'm going to actually add tactical bombers because they can both do land as well as naval destruction types of stuff. Cancel lend lease, degaust hulls, 1946, get better light ship torpedoes. Anything over here? No, thank you very much. Uh, we do have enough chromium, so we might as well try to add something else. What about another... I mean, we already have two light ship hulls. What about cruisers? Radar. Level 3 would be nice. Uh, torpedoes. I think we're researching those right now, so... G oh, guns. Light, wait, light attack would go down? Yeah, this has less light attack. They're the same cannon, but this is auto-loading. You get a little bit more piercing. You get more anti-air. That kind of sucks. Whatever. Secondary batteries. Sounds good to me. Better anti-air. Maybe? No. Alright, well. It could be worse. could be much worse. Let's see. Did I replace anything else? No. And this was the Advanced Modern Cruiser Hull. Modern Cruiser Hull A2. Please go to Massachusetts. Keep the time going on. Put you above all these guys and then do that. And honestly, we could probably use more improved heavier heavy carrier hull. Uh, let's just keep going dreadnoughts, because dreadnoughts are really the meta. The bigger the battleship, the better. Um level five. Oh yeah, baby. Love it. Level three radar, love it. Yeah, you guys are pretty much stuck there. Level four super heavy batteries. Love it. Oh, wait. We can do that, too. Super Heavy Armor 4. Even though it says 3, it's actually 4, which is a little confusing. Please go to Massachusetts. We might not ever use you, but I'd still rather have you here than not have you here. Nice. Only negative 4 for Chromium. Awesome. 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 And then good. Awesome. Tons of political power. Tons and tons and tons. Cool. I think... Ooh, carrier primacy. Nice. More organization. More organization. Sword efficiency and naval targeting. All sounds like good stuff. Heavy carrier. Carrier. Cruiser. And naval targeting. Bonuses. Thank you very much. 
here we definitely want to make sure that we have let's see these are naval bombers heavy fighters let's get some more tactical bombers as well here for the same sort of idea land and naval stuff that will be great we only have 14 coast guard divisions which actually we will probably need a little bit more uh, that's not it over here oh we try to make seven at a time that's fine that's fine that's fine do we need to add anything else here level five logistic companies might be beneficial reinforce companies that's basically what this these are reinforce companies uh no nah, you really don't need that infantry we're pretty good 20 combat standard 20 with divisions i have no tanks oh we got a lot of modern oh we're producing a crap ton of modern tanks what the heck am i doing Armored Division or Armored Cavalry? Let's go with Armored Division. Throw in a bunch of modern tanks. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Make sure we save what we got already. Let's go ahead, Armor, Armor. Armor, I love my armor. Save for now. Uh, cancel at least. Ah, oh, we can do signal companies, because why not? Let's have a little bit of fun with those guys. Cool, cool, cool. Go ahead and train two at a time. And base you in San Diego. Put you on high. And actually, Pacific. We have all 10 divisions there. The rest of our military is based in California right now. Go ahead and tell them to get rid of your orders. And I still wish we had Smed Smedley Butler, but we currently do not. Ah, uh, you gotta love this. No one is doing that great in Asia. Or even the Middle East down here. Very nice. It looks like I might just have to uh, deploy something. I forgot, I forgot what I was going to say. What the heck? Mm, I forgot what I was going to say. Regardless. Uh, escort convoys probably would be a good idea around... Micronesian Gap, Eastern Micronesia. I only have five, six, six things. So one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, that's pretty, pretty not good. I'm gonna leave Hawaii alone for now, so that we still have. Five regions we're doing, but we have a spare six one just in case we really, really need it. Uh, since we're waiting to go to war, and honestly, I'm going to re-justify on them just in case, and we've got more than enough political power for us to do so, and it won't take that long. Uh, let's see, cool, come over here. Cool. Let's see. I'm going to do this too. Uh, really, only two should be good enough for you guys. Oh crap! You guys, you have to use your general, not a field marshal, to invade. Come from here and invade over there. Ra Rail Splitters Division, huh? You all come from here and in, I guess, invade here. I mean, you're literally just going to walk across. Neuf Quatres. Weird name. It's probably French. But what weird people are not French? Cool. Please come there. Awesome. And we will be doing a ton of convoy raiding while we're here. Oh yeah, come from here. And since you're kind of the last odd man out, you can probably tr attempt to invade there. Let's go grab those subs of ours. Nice. And then we will be doing some... Good to be... These guys are doing convoy, es convoy escorts. We want to do convoy raiding, especially in the Eastern Micronesian Sea, over here. And then we have four things as subs, so we can do four regions in total. Not bad, not bad. And the Socialist Republic of the Philippines has capitulated to the Japanese. Oof. National identity. Huh. Quite a good amount of manpower. Uh, Union of Orbatia Communes doing pretty well. That's a lot of manpower. Are they fighting anybody? 
They're not fighting anybody, which is kind of surprising. They should be fighting the Japanese, but whatever. The Burmese are also in the faction, the Radical Socialists, even though they're somewhat divided. And now we can be a good syndicalist soldier and give some American aid for more war support that we don't need. Cool. Alright, let's see. Join the International. Now that we've joined the International, we should fully contribute to the International and play our role in the International. As the Marine Sim is starting to play. I think it's a Marine Sim. I think it is. Okay, they cancelled Lend Lease, our own Papa did. And now we have to wait to justify on. And we've joined the Third International! Yay! We have pivoted towards France, formally joining the Syndicate Alliance. Reactionaries of the world tremble as America's industrial power is repurposed, repurposed for the close. Probably for the war, but you never know. Uh, for now, let's do some subs as well. That'll be very important. I uh, so yeah, we still have nothing here. Cool. Join the Fallon Stare. Oh, is this a technology? Cool. Rec public recognition of the Arabian exile government? Cape Verdean exile government? I mean, I've got a lot of political power. So these are governments and exiles? Sure, you guys come on board. Alright, kids. Actually, I want to see what how they're doing first. Oh, that's a lot of Oh my god, look at that attrition. That's got to be so much attrition. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a lot of divisions, too. But that's a lot of attrition. Uh, let's see, Japanese strength is currently 300-some ships. Uh, probably around 200-ish divisions. The factories aren't great, so whatever we destroy, they probably won't be able to replace. They are on service by requirement. They have a ton of planes. They're market liberals. A couple convoys, and probably around 4 million manpower. And I have 4 nukes. Which I will be using against the Japanese, because nothing says America like nuking Japan. So, sorry Union Britain or Socialist Republic of Italy. Our ships are ready, good to go. And we're probably going to get the hell bomb out of us. I will join as soon as we begin piloting our planes. Heavy fighters, heavy fighters. There's a lot of heavy fighters here. You guys do this, and you all... Ooh. So we got tactical bombers, naval bombers, and heavy fighters. You guys are doing the exact same thing over here. But before we also be go, to, go to war, I just want to make sure that... Our guys are fully in place where they need to be. Because some of these guys are not yet. And I don't want these guys sunk. So you're over here. You're getting closer and closer and closer to Wake Island, which is good. Good, fine, and dandy. Awesome. And good. You guys are gun. Gun? Good. And you guys are also good. Cool. Join the great, the illustrious... Awesome. Third international, and yes, I still need to take out the Netherlands, but regardless, whatever. Uh, yeah, the rest of South America looks pretty good. Look at all these allies, and look at a couple of these enemies. Zimbabwe, Mashri, Kingdom of Siam, Syria. Cool, Union of South. People, whatever. And I have to court for them just so that they won't get liberated. So. Awesome. Alright, well, we've done it. And now I'm expecting massive naval battles and lots of losses and whatnot as the game begins to seriously lag. Kurdistan has... what? Cool. Our allies are in, including Mexico. Ooh, we sunk four Chinese or Feng Chin convoys. Great. Ooh, we've lost a plane. Wow, there's a Japanese navy over here. Ooh. Free Liberia wants to help in their war efforts. Uh, sure. And Liberia wants to help out as well. Um, are you all not in the war yet or something? Syria is about halfway to capitulation. Mashrik is about to capitulate as well. Keep an eye. Ooh, I lost a plane, but we've started to damage some of these enemy ships. I mean, they haven't taken a ton of damage, but there definitely is some damage around. Alright, well, we need to begin our Island Hoppy campaign, so if you guys can go ahead, you guys do this instead, and we shall begin. We have, in some areas, 
both tactical naval bomber and heavy support. Ooh. Heavy uh heavy fighter support. We keep losing planes. I might need to make sure that we make more than enough naval bombers, but currently we're doing okay. Ace pilot promoted, very good. They they do have some Japanese planes in the water. Good to keep an eye on those guys. You guys can probably just walk over there actually. You don't have to navally invade. We got escorts, escorts, escorts all over the place. Love it, love it, love it. And we are trying to hit con oh, they're trying to hit our convoys, but it's not exactly working yet. Well, we've taken out the first group. Awesome. So we can get rid of this. Yay. Go ahead and immediately begin planning your next invasion. From here to not that island. Probably up here. Cool. And then, coasts. Oh no, these are the coast guards. Okay, so we do have enough. Awesome, not, oh, cool, we got this island, and we got that island. Love those islands. Sure, you wanna help out? Cool. Matthew Ridgeway, you have very inexperienced people, but that's because I screwed up your thingies. If you know what I mean. Probably not, but that's okay. Cool, you're next. Air skirmish, great. Haven't encountered really any Japanese ships that really want to fight us yet. Um, I don't want to leave this area yet, but just in case, I'm going to tell both these guys to come over here. Alright, not bad so far. Pretty good so far. How many losses have we taken? We've taken zero. I love it. And we have done, we can't tell how many losses we've, people we've sunk. Oh, we shot down, well, we shot down two enemy planes. So we must have killed at least two Japanese people, probably. Uh, okay, you guys back. Oh, you already have that. Awesome. Go ahead. Uh, since you guys are both here, just go ahead and split off. And then come on back. And then do that, do that. You, since it doesn't seem like there's a lot of enemies around here, just go whenever you can, pretty much. Awesome. Ooh, what's this? Anything? War propaganda. Probably don't need it. Uh, we can ex Ooh, we can finally go with war economy. Thank you, guys. Ah, uh, I love it. Oh, we're building a lot of nuclear reactors. Holy smokerinos. And you know what? If you can go, go right ahead. As we are, oh, we got this too. Great. And then, come from here and invade left click to right click over to Jabor. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And just in case, American Theater. Go ahead and click on that. Anywhere else? Uh, they want to join our efforts against... Oh, they want to go to war with the Entente. Uh, screw it, why not? At this point, there's really no point to not to. Go ahead and just put your guys over here as well. Since I don't want to really click on them later. Awesome. Just do all these islands. Since I pretty much will be invading all these little islands, so that we make sure that we strip the Japanese of any sort of presence around here. We might invade the Philippines. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure yet. But just in case. Uh, th th Thailand? No, no. Taiwan. Taiwan will be important to take as well. Ooh. Not bad so far. Not bad. I'm really surprised that there's, like, no Japanese forces around here. And I forgot that I had tea here, too. Oh, that's a funny taste in tea. Ooh. 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 So we shot down another Japanese plane, so be it. You guys are doing a great job, great, great job. We've got more than enough fuel, so. Oh, actually, you probably don't need to be doing escorts around here, then. Oh, we lost something. We lost a convoy in exchange for a plane. Hmm. Oh, it's because my soldiers are trying to get around there. 
my Coast Guards. Yeah, those are Coast Guards. Awesome. Doing a great job helping me enable invade all these different little islands. You guys did an awesome, awesome job. Come here. And next, invade that island yourself. Cool. And we're invading this island next. Convoy escorts. Ooh. Very good. I like that stuff. Nice. Pretty easy. I mean, I'm, I'm somewhat surprised that the Japanese haven't put uh, more people around here or something. Good, good, good. Alright, you guys can probably stop with that. You guys come from here and invade. Well, it looks like we have no one coming this direction, so we'll do that next, too. Pretty basic naval invasion stuff. Pretty basic. Nothing too radical yet. It's very surprised at the lack of Japanese presence. I mean, yeah, there are some Japanese people here, but... Just kind of surprised that... There isn't more Japanese presence. Yeah, this tea. Ooh, it's green tea. Ooh, that tastes a little grainy. Not bueno. Oh well. Uh, how are our, our our allies doing in Asia? Well, not much has changed. A lot of losses. A lot of not winning. Not losing. Just not winning. In some areas, I suppose. Good. Siam's trying to invade, but they're getting pushed back. I love it. Alright, guys, you're doing well. I do want to finish off all these islands around here and then keep pushing further west, west, west. Uh, Japan, I'm going to assume like all your divisions and like convoys are tied up around here. Because I haven't found very many ships at all. I mean, we found the one Japanese navy that doesn't want to fight us. But, yeah... Hmm. Interesting. Convoys. Well, we can probably take you off of here and start putting you over here next. We can probably take you off of this as well. Please destroy some convoys. Or do something. Find someone. Find something. Cool, you're done? You're done. And then you guys... Next up, we'll invade from here to about there. And then I will have you two, wherever you are all based. Oh, you're already based here. Go ahead and take that off. Since you're already over here, come from here. And invade that pesky little island. Take one of you guys and go right there. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that I haven't... Where, where are the Japanese ships? Where are the convoys? Like, do they not garrison their own islands? At this point, we probably take West Emperor Chain off. American A, great. Well, since we're invading navally, this might be good on the beach, but from the sky, more air superiority attack and air superiority. Since I'm going to use that so much, uh, amphibious invasion speed, but air experience gain, which we really don't care about, but more air superiority can be a godsend when we are going to need more air superiority against the Japanese home islands. That's why I did that there. Are you guys ready to go yet? Yeah, a couple more days until we got them. You guys did a great job. Take you off. And begin doing a new. Go ahead when you can. It looks like you guys did a great job as well. Invade from here to invade that area next. Go ahead when you can. And I'm sure these guys are still planning a couple more days. About two more days before they can invade. Work with Communard allies. Uh, sure. Already agreed to our uh, our offer, and they're already, already en route. The British allies, they've agreed, and work with Italian allies, and they said yes. Cool. Love it. I love working with my allies. Especially since they're taking the brunt of all the attacks. I've only lost 4,000 versus... Well... A bunch of our dead comrades. That's okay, though. That's what they're there for. Nice. Seriously, there's nothing going on. I was I was waiting for like a massive Japanese Navy and Air Force just to attack us. 
but I guess the Japanese Navy is a little busy at the moment or something. Let's see, I think I get rid of this one. Take you, ah, screw it, you three. Y'all come here, and then invade this area. And you guys are doing good. They've almost invaded, they've almost succeeded, and they have. Cool. Um, oh, do we have another thing? War propaganda. Pretty typical. And, nice. You two have done a great, great job for our nation. Come from here and invade next to that island. I mean, it just... This seems to be a little bit too easy right now. I'm really not sure why it's this easy. I mean, you saw me putting a whole crap ton of planes around here. We honestly don't need all these planes here anymore. Uh, is there anywhere else I could put you guys? 400... Yeah, I'm going to wait to put these guys... Oh, we actually invaded around here. Great. Take these guys off. You two invade to... I guess this island would be next. I don't want to build on this... Okay. 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 Oh, no. What the heck? Wait, I can't build here. Uh, oh, I can build this stuff. So I need... That's not the right island I can build stuff on. Okay, whatever. And I will end this episode very soon. Let's go from here to invade that island next. Wow, this is a bit too easy in my opinion. Um, yeah, you take that off and come to the Bismarck Sea next. I guess you take Micronesian Gap and... Oh, do we find something? <gasps> Hold on. Oh god, it's laggy. Oh, we found a few Japanese ships. Maybe doing some escorts. Subs are like, mm, maybe we shouldn't engage those people. But uh, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. So we finally actually truly finished up <gasps> South America. We sunk an actual Japanese convoy. Surprise, surprise. We've been taking a crap ton of islands. I didn't realize the Japanese have an island over here. I don't think it'll matter very much. There's only 40 people on it. But with that in mind, we've done well in South America. We have joined the Third International, finally. And we are pushing in against the Japanese islands uh, very successfully. So, with that in mind, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. If you need to know how to do naval invasions, just let me know, and I'll do a step-by-step, word-by-word guide on how to do it uh, within the next video. Uh, and yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.